This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. I'm Daniel from MobileGeeks.com here at Computex 2015 and we are standing here at the NVIDIA booth. And over here we have a beautiful computer rig with uh, the brand new GTX 980 Ti. And over here we've got Justin, the product manager for the 980 Ti. And yeah, maybe you can give us a quick tour. Sure. So um, this is our uh, brand new 980 Ti just launched uh, today or just launched yesterday. Um, it is available now. Uh, this is our new flagship gaming graphics card. Um, it is a um, it is a real it's got a ton of performance in it, uh, and really it was made for 4K gaming. Um, and we can show you that a little bit of it right here. Uh, this is Project Cars. We're running it over here on a single 980 Ti. Um, I can pop up the menu here for you guys so you can kind of see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, we're running it here on the on a new um, uh, new monitor from ASUS. This is a uh, curved. Uh, G-Sync IPS display running at uh, 75 hertz. And let me come over here into the menu and I'll show you some of the settings we got going on here. Um, so you can see we're running at 34 by 14, so it's close to 4K resolution. Um, we have the A turned up to DS2X, that's essentially 2X super sampling, and we got everything cranked up to higher ultra, um, more or less as high as you can go in, the, in this game. And so um, we have project cars, all the settings cranked up, and we are going to start racing. Um, and you know, that, that's really what the 980 Ti is all about. It's going to take a modern game like, uh, like Project Cars. It's going to let you play it at 4K, or in this case, near 4K settings, um, and really just uh, look gorgeous. It'll give you a really nice, smooth gaming experience. Um, and again, what you'll notice as we're going through here, um, not only is it going to be smooth and responsive, but um, you're going to see no tearing, you're going to see no stuttering, because we're uh, because we're running on this G-Sync monitor, um, and this is a, I mean this is a particularly nice game to show it off too, just because there's a, such a high level of detail in this game. Um, you know, you can from the reflections on the cars to the um, to the texture here on the road, um, and the amount of detail in this game is really incredible. And you know, a game like a card like the 980 Ti is really going to let you see it all and really enjoy it all. Um, and it's just like I said, a, a beautiful way to experience. Uh, modern game at super high resolution with all the settings turned up. Um, 980 Ti is also going to be great for uh, DX12 gaming. There's a whole bunch of new DX12 features uh, on the 980 Ti that's going to let you really enjoy the next wave of DX12 games. Um, we've got whoops, we got a whole bunch of uh, virtual reality technology also goes along with the 980 Ti. So anyone who may be interested in virtual reality should be coming next year and you want to get ready for it now, the 980 Ti is going to be a great card. It'll really, it'll certainly power some of the best next-gen uh, virtual reality experiences as well. Yeah, so speaking of virtual reality, there has been some new technology announced with a, with a TI. Can you give us like a short summary of what, what it's all about? Sure. So um, we also, along with the 980 Ti, announced a new technology called multi-resolution shading. Now, multi-resolution shading is really an innovative new way to render in virtual reality. As it turns out, with virtual reality, when you render an image, we actually have to warp it down to put it on the headset. The reason we have to do that is there's a lens in a headset, and when you look through the lens, you know, anyone who's looked through a magnifying glass would, would appreciate this. When you look through a lens, there's a little warping around the edge. And in order to make the image look right, we actually pre-warp it, display it on the headset, and then when you see it through the lens, it looks right. Well, as it turns out, um, that warping process is not entirely efficient, or at least it didn't used to be. And that's because we used to render it as if it was about to go on a screen like this in kind of the full square or rectangular type image. And then we'd warp it down onto the headset. And in that process, we actually are rendering more pixels than ever get shown to the headset. So with our new multi-res rendering technology, uh, we can take advantage of a new feature in our Maxwell GPUs to go scale the edges down so that the, ren the, the image that we're rendering um, becomes much closer to the final warped image. It saves us a lot of work and, uh, and ultimately increases performance. So we're seeing anywhere from 1.3 to 2x increase in our pixel shader rendering performance, which translates directly into better performance for VR. So it's a pretty exciting new feature. So the GeForce uh, GTX 980 Ti is available now for 649. That's right. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.